It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. Selena, I think you should give up. It's not just Arkham. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Ah! Ah! Oh, you psycho! Uh, now you can do whatever you want to me, but Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Ark. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grove. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shake it! Go! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we'll nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. In time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Dent is a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. Come on, the commissioner's still down there. Ugh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead. Commissioner. 
They can't hold out much longer. already be dead. Let's just be honest. Is he? God damn it! No. Not you too. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this... This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Krogan was a good man. A family man. Grogan and Gordon? I'm like, did they get that wrong? But no, there's actually somebody Grogan. Report! It's the mayor! And Wayne Manor. He's got hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says, he says, cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I should be able to keep Harvey talking long enough to get close. Then I'll make my move. It may be your best chance. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Flex! Now, I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Without fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? 
Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Why, do you actually grow a backbone? Or did you just get tired of hiding? Please, Harvey! Let these people go! Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? You're dumber than you look, Bruce. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet in your face! Listen to yourself! This isn't you. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Even though you backstabbed me, ho, ho, what ho, with Selena? ho, you still ho. Needs to be purged of people like you. You still ho. All of you, you still a ho. Traitors, ho. terrorists, ho. And cops who don't take their mayor's ho. orders. You mean how you still don't. a ho? This is the only way to clean up this cesspool. No, please! <laughs> this is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away! I would let them all go, but it's not up to me. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! I swear I Back all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on chance. <laughs> I didn't do On it. The flip of a silver dollar. You have always known right from wrong. I am begging you. Oh, God. What did I do? What. What did he make me do? Now, Bruce! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started. Calm this down, ho. This is way to keep people in line. Otherwise, they walk all over you. Harvey, no. This is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. Good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. Bruh. No! No! Oh! Bruce, oh. I need... I need the result. Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't... I... I can't... If you insist. He ain't died for that. Bruce... I don't know... I don't know what to do. Oh, that's good. I can't yeah. decide. It's too much. It's too much, I can't. A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. I 
At least he ain't dead. Because I'm like, you can't tell. It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. You've done me and all of Gotham a favor. It's what I deserve. There's been enough death, Harvey. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. My fault. His fault. Mr. Wayne. I... I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. Oh, you're the news reporter. You should be rotting in Arkham! Hey, 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 shut that shit up, ho! Ooh. We don't... Y'all didn't... Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Well, at least... Well, oh, okay, now he's dead, but damn. I'm like... Why why are we just killing people like left and right? I'm like, damn, like y'all need to calm, bruh. Everybody literally has tr trigger fingers like crazy. I'm like, I just throw batarangs, but I'm not shooting. What the fuck, bruh? Crazy. They crazy. usual tea and the entire pantry I'm afraid didn't survive the fire this is from my own personal supply thanks Alfred we're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power well at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else Bruce these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, well, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Codex. I don't read all of this.
Alright, this is not wasting time on that. Uh, let's just check out this. The Gotham feed. Ah, fuck. This all happened in the span of two days. That's crazy. That is crazy. And then five days later. <laughs> Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. She just invited her, so... The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. I'm surprised it's a got girl. Batman. I just need to find her. <laughs> so, what am I trying to look at right now? I guess we just. Uh, Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. Oswald was. <laughs> was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it... Falcone Island. Uh, hmm. uh, we need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Uh, of well, of course we're gonna have to go through this. How much? How much was he spending on the bacon? It certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Oh also my God! how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. All right, what about here? Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. 
and my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's better. No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Like, boy, you studied at Harvard. Ye! The mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. Huh. What is these? She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill Falcone. And my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. Wow. She stole from you? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? Maybe she's just messing with me. Some kind of joke. She broke into your office and stole valuable property as a joke. She has an unusual sense of humor. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. Yeah, that I'm key is far too dangerous key. in Miss yeah. Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. Hmm. 
girl, I told you to get out of town. Like, I told I was done with that whole life. You should be too. Ugly. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly, my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. But the less noble options are so much more... Exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride, but you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. Girl, um, what? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Come, just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... intriguing job than I was expecting. It's still a job. And that job's <laughs> done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. 
You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Anyway. Well, it's been fun. You stay out of trouble. Because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. I look forward to our next dance. Of course I'm not going to kiss her. Remember the last time when we tried to do that? Before the sex scene? Lucius, I've got the key. In episode four? Uh, hold on, Alfred's on Which the was line. episode three, I hey, think? Alfred. Like, yeah. Lady Arkham, she's here. I, I tried to keep them out. But... Alfred? Alfred! No! My home! Again! Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? What did they do to you, Alfred? Ash everywhere. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. scuff mark what could have caused this furniture scattered outwards from a single point Used the pool cue as a weapon, broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Damn, savage motherfucker. But that's not it. No, I'm joking. See a connection here. Mm. 
What the hell? How the hell? These weren't scattered by the same event. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Sure doesn't belong there. What the fuck? Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. doing it. OG, they notice me. I got that woo wee. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. He 
he's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Professional grade camera probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up, cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Filtering for all homes built on that date. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Oh, really? Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. I'm sorry. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Yeah! Mm, yeah! Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state-of-the-art. This ends tonight. Yeah! Heading into the basement. Be careful. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him.
Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Vales have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out what the Vales were hiding. We about to, we about to kick. Sorry, Lupe Fiasco. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Stupid to call on over it. I'm going inside. different, newer. It's starting to remind me of Dishwasher Dead Samurai right now. Bloody scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. The belt. It's caked in blood. Was that really necessary? Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Strife. Vicky created her here. In this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Tech. 
can be a coincidence. Maybe... Those towers... That must be Arkham Asylum. using this chalk but there must be more to it she's taking him to Arkham Asylum boy to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Midnight! You know what that means? This is the longest I've been Batman for this whole series. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. When he and all of Gotham will learn, they won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffer. You are tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Calm down, bitch. Never mind. Ha! Ha! What? Okay. 
gonna be faster than me like that, but whatever. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind the bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He's got me in here! Me too. Let me at him. He's the crazy one! Everybody, calm the fuck down. Yay, boy! Yay! Get your hands off him. He work hard. Get, get. Damn! Damn! You're not getting away, Vicky. Let's see the magic happen. Yay, boy! Keep, keep. Mask off. Bucket mask off. Ugh. Looks like a front. What the Take fuck? Time, what the hell? That's the plan. How do you have the strength to take me down with this armor on? Boy, if you don't get the fuck off me. Sit your punk ass down. Okay, so you got two. Shank what, boy? What you gonna shank, boy? Get the fuck out of here! Yay! Boy! Um. Oh, Too geez. inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Ugly, fried motherfucker. Silverware, for real? Y'all really- Ooh! Ooh! Y'all throwing hands? Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Follow 
to your There's fucking no hair There's always another way here Batman All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly they speak through the walls their ghosts walk they know the way well, I can't help those people now but I can help Alfred Pennyworth Take me to him My pleasure <laughs> Okay. You got injured. Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Vicky. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things! Those men deserve their day in court. Just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Of course you would attack the ceiling. That was so obvious. Bring your lame ass back here. Yep, 
he Hold on, Alfred. drugged. He's probably been you, drugged. You, you came. You came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Wow, now it's faster all of a sudden. Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Bug it. If that's what it will take to save him. No! some kind of trick. <laughs> Bruce would he, he'd never be the man Batman is. Yeet, he'd bitch! Up for himself. Yeet! Oh, but of Yeet. <laughs> Now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. Stop blaming other people for your problems. You are the only one who suffered. You really think you can preach to me? You? Of all people? Enough! <laughs> wow. Surprise. <laughs> well, no more lies. Brought that. No more talk. The only truth left is in your death. Bitch, sit your ass down. Oh, well then. Yeet. After the previous episodes, I'm like, this is good. This is so much better. Oh, come on. You can't. Oh, damn. Jet boots. Oh shit! It would have made sense if you stomped me, but whatever. Fly into this. Oh, oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, shit. Ooh. Get, 
it. Ooh, 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 you got the move. Ooh, oh, God. Ooh, D, As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it. It's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Uh-oh. Selena. Ah, uh, never mind. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But... Uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that, after everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> And Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon. Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. 
Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped the city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Because I'm like, it only we makes are sense. We're awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Batman. Yo, what's up? I'm here for your speech, fam. Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I'll always be watching out for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing that. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. I should probably be used to that by now. One of those citizens is Batman. He wanted me to tell you all that he'll be watching, ensuring the safety of our good citizens. But one hero cannot change Gotham on his own. He needs all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, 
and hopeful. Couldn't wait, bro. Where's just this? minutes ago, where's acting just the Commissioner brief, James Gordon the brief delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs> it's funny too because they did announce that next Batman Telltale series and I saw it and it's so it, so it made sense to just get to this and just actually play yeah of course I'm gonna throw that damn coin over the balcony I ain't gonna put it in my pocket Of course I'm gonna show up as Batman, like fuck Bruce. Like nah boy. Yay. Uh this was not a bad series at all. Not a bad telltale series at all. I played this and the Wolf Among Us. And a little bit of the Walking Dead. But I'm not a Walking Dead fan, obviously. And with that it's all done. Everything is all done, sadly. Uh this is like my first legit Batman game I that I've ever played. Ever well, I wouldn't say like ever played. The first one that I really played was like um when the first when like the first when Batman Begins dropped. When they dropped that spin-off game for it for Xbox and PlayStation 2. That was like my for real my first Batman game. I didn't really play it that much, but yeah, like you know, throughout my childhood, I just never played a Batman game like this until, like, now. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I always supported and watched the animated series. I wish it was on Netflix. I, I, I love Batman Beyond, but I just never actually played a Batman game. I didn't like the Ark. I don't like the Arkham Asylum. I don't like the Arkham series either because they're kind of repetitive to me, so I'm, like, kind of sorry. I mean, I'm willing to play them for y'all, but I'll think about it one day. Anyway... I'm glad that you guys were able to watch this whole entire series with me as well as like, you know, just be there for the joy ride. It was it was really fun to play this. It was really, really, really fun. Um, freaking other than that, I guess like all that's left is just Just to wait until I buy the next Batman game, but I guess I'll just wait till the whole all the episodes are dropped actually. So that way, give you guys some more space and shit. Anyway, what I'm also trying to think of now, I'm like, I'm also trying to debate whether or not, like, what is the next game to, like, stream for y'all for Storytown Tuesday, because now it's only Prey and Dead Space 2. Even though Prey has been the longest one, but yeah. What? Now that was weird. Anyway, that's all I have to say about it, guys. Like, thank you guys for watching. I'm about to get off and take a little bit of a break. So, see you guys at about 9 o'clock for some Tekken. Peace. <laughs>